Now, this is how white people became white. It's in 2 Kings 5, 1 through 27. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper, you know what I'm saying? And you know how when people are leper like my mama was, you can't catch it, you know, being close to them or them breathing on you or, you know, none of that. You know what I'm saying? You can't catch it. You can't catch it. That's something God puts on somebody. And I always thought the reason my mama had leprosy was because, uh, was, you know, a couple of reasons. She kind of didn't like me. She was always messing with me. And then, um, she, uh, she, uh, her husband would beat on her. And I would always ask her, why you keep going back? You know what I'm saying? I was a little kid, you know, three, four, five. Why you keep going back? You know what I'm saying? And she would, you know, say she loved me or whatever she would tell me, you know. But I couldn't understand. Then he beat her in front of me and stuff. So, you know, I couldn't understand. So when I turned 15, he was beating her. And then uh, I came in drunk. And then I seen him grab, you know, my grandmother and throw her down on the couch and then grab me, uh, punch my grandfather laying on the couch. And then, you know, man, I went to the room and got the shotgun, you know what I'm saying? The 16 gauge, you know what I'm saying? I loaded it and I came back and I was finna shoot him, you know what I'm saying? And he was lucky, you know what I'm saying? Cause when, when I came in to shoot him, the police turned his back to me and then uh, said, freeze, you know what I'm saying? And showed me his back so I wouldn't shoot. So I didn't shoot, but they took him to jail and he ended up going to prison then from the time I was 15 all the way till, you know, uh, I was 18. And during that time, between the time I was 15 and 18, um, she had uh, got that leprosy. So I kind of felt like God gave her leprosy so her husband wouldn't like the way she looked and wouldn't, you know, want to be around her so he wouldn't beat her no more, you know what I'm saying? Because if she had stayed beautiful, then she was going to always get beat on by her husband, you know what I'm saying? So God gave her leprosy so he wouldn't, you know, enjoy looking at her. And, um, you know... But like I say, uh, he was a leper, you know what I'm saying? And some people think you can catch it, but you can't catch it from him. And the Syrians had gone out by company and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And, um, and the maid... You know what I'm saying? And she said to her mistress, she said, the maid said to her mistress, would, would, would my Lord, where the prophet is in, where the, where the prophet is in Samaria, for he would recover him from his leprosy. And his wife's fate led him to the prophet Elisha. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus said the Lord, the maid that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to and send a letter to the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king saying, now this letter is come to you. Behold, I have therewith sent Naaman, my servant, to you, that you may recover him of his leprosy. 
You know what I'm saying? And he took all that money and stuff to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? And it came to pass. When the king read the letter, he read his clothes. He got mad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He read his clothes and said, am I God to kill and make a lie? that this man do send me to me uh, to recover a man of his leprosy? He said, wherefore, consider, I pray you, see how he seek it quarrel. You know, quarrel, he, he want to fight against me. You know, sending me somebody who got leprosy so I can catch leprosy. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, heard the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king and said, Wherefore have you rent your clothes, king? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. And Naaman came with his horses and his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent the messenger to him, saying, Go wash in the Jordan seven times and your flesh shall come again to you and you shall be clean now he sent a messenger remember his messenger i'm gonna tell you his name in a minute and tell you what the messenger did now the messenger went you know what i'm saying told him go dip down in the jordan you know what i'm saying but naaman was wrought he got mad and went away and said behold i thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord of his God and strike his hand over the place of my leprosy and recover my leprosy. Are not a banner and forward rivers of Damascus better than all waters of Israel? You know, he want clean water. He wanted clean spring water like you bathe in, you know what I'm saying? He thought the prophet should have told him to go bathe in some good water, you know what I'm saying? Good clean water, you know what I'm saying? That I may wash in them and be clean. So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servant came near and spoke to him and said, my father now, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing like go to the pool, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? then you you would have did it you know what i'm saying so how much rather than you you want to be washed and be clean you know what i'm saying how you 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 want don't you want to be washed and be clean you know what i'm saying then he went down and dipped himself seven times in the jordan according to the sin of the man of god and his flesh came again like the flesh of a little child and he was clean <laughs> i see that you know what i'm saying god don't be bullshit he got his skin back you know what i'm saying and he returned to the man of god and all his company you know what i'm saying and came and stood before him and he said behold now now, uh, I know that there is a God in all the earth, but in it, there, there is no other God in all the earth, but in Israel. Therefore, I pray you, take the blessing of your servant. And he tried to pay the prophet Elisha, but he said, as the Lord liveth before whom I stand, 